So let me elaborate on this one. So it says, my final command is to fear and obey God. For this is the one thing that he's asked of you. Ecclesiastes 12, 13. That's the whole story here. Now is my final conclusion. Fear God and obey his commands. For this is everyone's duty. That's the whole story. Here now is the final conclusion. Fear God and obey his commands. For this is everyone's duty. But see, a lot of people, a lot of us, we're going to get this mistaken and think when it says fear, as in be scared of him, be terror. No, it is not to be scared or terrified, but it is to fear in a way that we should. It, a fear of reverence, a fear of respect, right? When you truly respect someone, there's a certain type of fear that you have when it comes to them. And see, that's what God's saying is, you fear me so much that you respect me, that you love me, that you obey me, right? Because if you have no fear, you will walk all over God. You will just disobey him. You will do whatever you want. You will continue to think that there's no consequences for your actions. See, that's what it's saying when it says, fear and obey me, right? We need to come to God with this <clears throat> fear of like respect. And we need to obey every command that he has given us. Obey everything that he has asked of us. Why? Because he is so loving, so merciful, and he's blessed us so, so much. He's brought us out of so many harmful places in our life. He's given us so many blessings. See, if we don't, if we don't, obey him, if we don't live for him, if we don't respect him, if we don't love him, then, then we're just slapping God in the face. And see, that's not, that's something that we shouldn't be doing. We shouldn't be slapping God in the face. Now we should be loving, respecting, obeying God in every single way and continue to encourage one another to fear and obey God and to fellowship and talk about it and lift each other up and just live for God. Great things never come from a comfort zone, right? We see, I talk about this all the time. Every single quote that I've come across has been something like this. We can't be in our comfort zone. We can't continue to be complacent. We can't be anonymous. Great things never come from comfort zones. Great things never come from comfort zones. One more time. Great things never come from comfort zones. Can't continue to be in a safe place. We can't continue to be in a safe place. We need to get out of our comfort zone. See, that's why it says, and that's why in one of those other quotes it said, do something scary every single day. Do something that will take you out of your comfort zone. Do something that will take you to that next level. Do something that's scary. Something that you that you probably wouldn't be able to do, but you were able to do it. Do something that that would just surprise you. Do something that would surprise all those around you and just see where that takes you. See where that takes you. See, for so long, for so many times, so every single one of us, we go through this. We wanna stay in a comfort zone. We wanna stay safe. We wanna stay on this level where we're like, no what, nothing's gonna hurt me. I'm gonna stay safe, I'm gonna be good. I'm not gonna go out of any limits. I'm gonna be good, I'm gonna be me, I'm gonna be Gucci, right? And see, when we stay in a complacent place, when we stay in our comfort zone, we see no growth. We see no growth because there's none. There's no development there, there's no friction, there's no things that are pushing against us for us to grow to that next level. So if we ain't doing that, if we ain't on that other level, if we are not getting out of our comfort zone, going into some unknown territories and overcoming and conquering in those territories, then there is no growth and there is no personal development. So come on, get out of your comfort zone. Real difficulties you could overcome real difficulties you can overcome you could conquer you could defeat real difficulties but see the imaginary ones the ones that you make up in your head the ones that don't really exist 
Theodore and Vale. Real difficulties can be overcome. It is only the imaginary ones that are unconquerable. Real difficulties can be overcome. It is only the imaginary ones that are unconquerable. Just, those are going to be the ones that are that you will never overcome. You will never conquer. They are unconquerable. Why is that? Because it's a it, it's made up in your mind. It's made up in your mind. And know what? When it's made up in your mind, there's no def there's no defeating it. It sees no defeat because there is no defeat in in its midst. Why? Because it does not exist. It doesn't exist. It's pretty much a battle within your mind, and the only way to do that is to realize that there's no real difficulty there. But see, in your mind, you're like, nah, there's a real difficulty. I, I know it, right? I see it, but there's not. You don't see it. It's not really there. It's not physically there. It's not something that's truly preventing you from doing anything. It's not something that you could feel accomplished by overcoming because you can't overcome it. You can't overcome it. It's just... It's just a figment of your imagination. See, and see, our mind is so crazy. It's so powerful. These, you know, when you can imagine, when you have the imagination, when all these different factors play in, it could be, it could be phenomenal, it could be amazing, or it could be detrimental. And if you are imagining a difficulty that isn't really there, then that is something that's detrimental to you in every single way because you will, Stress yourself out day in and night out for no reason, only to get more stress to the day that you die. Don't don't allow your imagination to create these things that will never ever be defeated. So the only real mistake is the ones <clears throat> that we never learn from. The only real mistakes within our life are the ones that we never learn from. So think about it like this. You go through something, you go through these trials. Three, four, the re only real mistake is the one from which we learn nothing. The only real mistake is the one we, the one from which we learn nothing. These tribulations, all these different things that play factors within your life, they play a part within your life. You go through them, but if you don't ever learn from them, then those are real mistakes. Those are mistakes that you can't undo because you learn nothing from them. See, a lot of us think that some of the mistakes that we make, it's make or break, right? We think that it's so detrimental, but see, it's only detrimental to us going forward if we don't ever learn something from it, if we don't learn from it, if we don't learn something within it. See, real mistakes is something when you don't ever learn anything. So you continue and you continue to do the same thing. You continue to go down that same rabbit hole. You continue to go down that same path. You continue to mess up. You continue to do that drug. You continue to get yourself in trouble because now it's a real mistake because you ain't learning from it. See, now it's a real mistake because you refuse to learn from it. Now it's a real mistake because now it is destroying your life in different ways. See, a lot of us, we make mistakes, but most of the time we learn from it. Hopefully we do. But if you're making a mistake and you ain't learning from it, and you just kind of continue to follow it, you just kind of continue to get caught up in it, and you don't learn, you don't change your ways, you don't make the moves that are necessary to get out of it, to learn from it, to grow from it, then you're just going to stay making those mistakes and those mistakes are going to get more realer and realer and realer until it is too late. See, now the quality of your life is the quality of your relationships. Let that sink in for a second. The quality of your life is the quality of your relationships. Huh. So just like think about that. Tony Robbins, the quality of your life is the quality of your relationships. The quality of your life is the quality of your relationships. Think about how, how powerful that is. 
The quality of your life is the quality of your relationships. So those that are around you, those that are in your circle, those that you interact with, those that you keep close, those that you trust, right? If the quality is low within those relationships, if those people are, if their quality within your life is low, then the quality of your life will be low. Because if you lower yourself to their level, to a low quality, just so you could fit in, just so you could be with these people, whether they're your old friends, whether they're your new friends, whether they're just people that you want to try to fit in with. And that will show, that will showcase within your life because you will become as low as them. The quality of your life, the quality of you, your quality will be lowered. It will be at the, at the level that they're at. It will not be where it should be. See, it will be so low that for other friends, family, anyone that knows you, they, they will see that difference. They will see it and they'll be like, man, this ain't you. This ain't you. What's going on now? See, a lot of times we go through that. A lot of times we lower ourselves so we can fit in because we got to be with the it crowd, with the in crowd. We got to chill with these people we gotta we we want to be welcome we want to be in, like we want to be included but the sacrifice of that is the quality of our life has now sunk into a whole new low so you got to find that inner strength that inner strength that will prove to the world that will show the world that they will never be able to blow out your flame they will never be able to stop you they will never be able to put you down for good. Catherine Dunham, go within every day and find the inner strength so that the world will not blow your candle out. Go within every day and find the inner strength so that the world will not blow your candle out. See, that flame that's on your candle will stay lit. You will still find that inner strength to keep burning you will keep that fire within keep burning and you will keep moving on you will keep that passion going you will not allow the world around you to put you out you will not allow the world around you to keep you down the world around you will not stop you the world around you will not beat you down the world around you will not be able to overcome you see you got to find that inner strength. You got to dig down deep and you got to pull it out. You got to pull it out. You got to put it on display. You got to showcase it to the world. So, so they know, so they know that they cannot diminish you. So they cannot keep you down. So they not, cannot kill you. So they cannot stop what you were meant and what you were destined to do by the hand of God. Because God has a destiny for you. He has a plan for you. It's all destined. It's all laid out. But see, if you don't find that inner strength, if you do not rely on God, you don't meditate, you don't pray, you don't ask God for strength, you will not find that inner strength. You will not be able to overcome the world when the world, all they want to do is knock you down. See, they want to take your flame away. But only you, only you can make it to that next level. Only you could dig down deep, get that passion going again, and keep on moving forward because know what? That's what God destined for you.